Welcome to Tinker Now, a place where we tinker with stuff. So on this episode, you guessed it, we're tinkering with the Tinkerbot. But more importantly, the radio. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to configure all the switches, make sure all the controls are correct, but I'm not necessarily going to be covering how to do the initial configuration on the radio or how to bind it to the receiver. There's a crap load of videos out there. Um, Bardwell does a, a bunch of videos on that and there's, you know, on all those different radios. Um, I'm using a Jumper T18 Pro um, and it's just because it's got nicer gimbals and stuff on there. It's uh, OpenTX. If you guys really want me to, I can do a, I'll do an episode on how to configure it um, from out of the box on there um, and get all your channels and everything set up. Just leave comments down below. Um, oh, by the way, um, if you like what I'm doing here, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the, the bell um, for this. Um, that would be really useful. Anyway, so let's, let's get to it. So let's fire up iNav and why we're doing that let's get the drone connected so I love how it's a 50-50 chance of the direction you're going to get it in there but it always takes a minimum of three times to get it plugged in alright so now let's go over to our receiver and let's turn the radio on. Welcome to OpenTX. Ooh. And give it a second. There we go. All right. So you can see I'm moving the throttle up and down right now. And it's controlling the roll. Um, and the pitch is doing the throttle, the, actually the roll is controlling the throttle and the pitch is controlling the, which one is it? That one's correct. And the yaw is right. So what's going on is, is we got the channels mapped out wrong. This, uh, that's this right here. You, you can t type these in and redo it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to first go to default. Um, and this is the traditional way. That's the way my radio is set up is AETR. Um, and now I'll save and reboot it. And now my throttle, let's see, there you go, there's my throttle. Um, it's down to 1,000 to 2,000. Yaw is doing the right thing. My pitch is doing the right thing and my roll is doing the right thing. So now we need to get into our switches. So on here I've got channel 5, which is this bottom one here. That's a single throw switch. Um, let's see what else. Okay, channel 6, which is a triple throw on here. Um, that's 10. That one's not set up. 7 is set up to this switch over here, and that's a triple throw. 8 is this top left switch, and that's a, a triple throw. Let's see. Oh, and I also did my roller wheel. Anything else? No. Okay. Alright. So that's what we got. So I want to put this bottom corner one with the big switch. I'm going to make that my arm. So what we do is we go over to modes. And here is arm. I'm going to say add this range. And I'm going to pick channel 5 which it's already set to. And now I'm going to flip this switch. And you can see when I flip the switch, the marker comes up over here. So what I need to do is move this slider to be inside of it. And now that's going. So now what I want to do is I'm going to hit save. Um, and you want to make sure 
any time you make a change here and then you're going to go to any one of these other panels, always hit save because it won't remember. Now I'm going to go back over here and I think I want to do like angle mode and my nav hold position. I think I'm going to do it on this switch here. It's a three, three position, which is, which one? It's channel seven. All right. So let's go to mode and here's angle. So we're going to turn that on, change this to channel seven and that activates it. Okay. I like that. Um, and then let's go down to, uh, let's see, where's nav position hold. Okay, and I'm going to change this to channel 7, and when I'm in my top position, that's when I want this to turn on. So you can think of it as at the bottom, I'm in full acrobatic mode, the middle would be angle mode, and if we scroll to the top, you'll see it, it's an angle, and then the very top is full on nav position hold, and that's basically you're flying like a maverick. Uh, and then we're going to save and that. The other really nice thing about that is, is if you're just getting started and you're flying and you're, um, you can take off in your nav position hold and get yourself to a safe altitude and then you can then s switch down into acro mode, fly and if you're starting to lose it, just flip it all the way back up to nav hold and the thing will position itself. I've done it many, many times. It's a great way to, to learn and practice. And I've purposely taken and gotten the Tinkerbot upside down and angled like this and stuff and flip it and then less than half a second, she's flipped over and upright and just pauses. And then you get a chance to catch your breath. It's a really great trainer. And then if you're trying to teach somebody how to fly acro, this is a great way to do this. This allows you to have a, a way to train um, and get them up in the air and be safe. And then while they're flying like that, you can have your finger on that switch. And so when you see that they're losing it, flip the switch and the thing will just not right itself. Um, so, okay, so now what's left? Okay, so we need to do waypoint mission and um, return to home. So let's go to the receiver. Um, I think I'm going to do, uh, yeah, I'm going to use channel 8, it's a 3 position up on the top corner here, I'm going to make that my um, waypoint mission, which is this one here, so channel 8, and let's see, that's that one, I think that works, let's go into the middle position. Um, and now I need to do my return to home. Man, we're starting to flip a lot of switches. This is how I dumped it out of the air last time. Alright, so I think I'm going to use this one here, this switch, and that'll be channel 10. And you, you know, there's no rules to how to do this. You can do this to whatever you, you want, so channel 10 and it also depends on your radio so that's this one here I think I'm gonna make this one the full position fully thrown um, and I'm gonna put that here yeah and then save it so okay I think we've got this let's um let's disconnect and reboot it and then reconnect just to make sure everything's all working correctly so, okay, now let's go over to receiver, let's check these things, that's good, my yaw is good, let's see, there's my roll, and there's my pitch, okay, that's good, now let's go look at our modes, so there's my arming, good, Angle. There, that's good. Waypoint. And return to home. All right. So one thing to know, notice here is I'm trying to arm it, and this light is not turning on. But when I put it in angle mode, the light is turned on. 
That has to do with over here under setup. You can see here it's saying it's not nav safe. Uh, and that's a could be due to a number of reasons. One, you don't have enough GPSs. Um, how many GPS do we have right now? So right here it's showing that we have six. So uh, if I go over to advanced tuning, um, here you can actually set the number of GPSs. And I have this set to five as the minimum to be able to um, make it safe to take off. Uh, but the other reason why is this we're actually plugged in, so it's not going to let you do it. But... Um, she's all configured. Um, so next step, put the props on and take her out to the field and put her in the air. So the next time you see me, I'll be in the field somewhere um, and I'll show you how to put your props on so that you know how to put them on the right way. And um, we'll get her in the air. We'll, we'll do a little bit of nav position hold and then get into... Um, 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 waypoint mission planning. Anyways, you should go tinker with something. I'm gonna go tinker with this right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna head out to the field. See ya.